showcase, showcase product I would say. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's Nikki here again with another video. Uh, I just want to make more and more videos because I just want myself to be occupied on my week offs and everything. So today is again Sunday, which is my week off. And I wanted to film a video because I was going for an outing and I've already gotten ready. I just have to pamper my face and skin. And after that, I'll leave so it's also just a basic video in which i'll be just pampering my skin doing a little of makeup i would say and and then i would leave so let's begin with the video now so the first thing that i do is that i apply toner to my skin um, the toner that i use is basically from body shop or at times when i run out of it and i don't have any so i use a simple rose water toner and after that I apply this rice and ceramide which is from this face shop actually this is a hyped product and when I bought it I really didn't know that it's a hyped product I actually have always used serums from the body shop but this time I wanted to give it a try to some other thing so I was just just searching for serums or you know something good for my skin so I found this and it had good reviews but I use it and it's still pending but it's not a kind of favorite I would say because if uh, I would rate a body shop serum with this I would definitely say the body shop serum is much better than this. So it's just a little bit that's left and once I finish it off I'm not gonna buy this again because it's just a okay, okay showcase product I would say and also I don't think somebody who has a very oily skin should go for it so like this is the texture it has and it smells good uh, I don't know what kind of smell you guys prefer but with the smell the kind of smell I prefer it's okay for me and it's a bit oily in nature so that is what I say, somebody who has an oily skin, I don't think should go for it. In fact, me myself would not go for it the next time. It's just going to be finished. Okay, apply this. Now, the second thing is for my lips. What I would apply is this lip balm from Laneige. Uh, this is my favorite 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 i would say however i describe it's gonna be less because it's a very hyped product and literally it is like a magic it's a magic for your lips and it is really a very good product like if you spend the amount i don't remember how much this is the smaller one but yeah it does have different flavors of it but it is really a very 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 nice product i just finished off the bigger one this time and this is again the smaller one which i've bought and i don't remember the since the time i've been using it because it's marvelous so it basically is a lip balm and it you know give that shine uh, actually i have a kind of lip that cracks all seasons it's not like if it's winter so my lips would crack only at that time so i need something really hydrating for my lips so that you know uh, it keeps on hydrating and there is no crack actually i mean on my lip so this is the perfect thing you can go for it if, if you have a very uh, you know dry or cracked lips and you are just you know not getting the right product so this one's for you third thing that i would recommend or i use is the sunscreen from neutrogena and this is also sunscreen i don't remember since how long i've been using it because this really suits me i have used other sunscreens from lacme and all those brands i don't remember because it's been i think more than four to five years i've been using this so i use this one and sunscreen is always must 
I never realized its importance until my sister told me how important sunscreen is for your skin. So, not forgetting my neck also, applying it everywhere on my face, properly mixing it. Applying it on my neck properly because don't forget that. That's another very important thing. Okay, done with the basic skin pampering. This is what I do and when I'm not in a mood of doing anything, this is just what I do and sometimes I even apply a kajal and leave for my work or anything nothing other than this because as i mentioned i don't do makeup on a very regular basis i'm not a you know huge fan or a person kind of who cannot leave house without makeup so that's what i do and today i wanted to test this rare beauty blush along with the rare beauty luminizer let's let's test how it is okay so this one was the blush that i bought soft pinch dewy liquid blush in the shade encourage if you can see it this is a very pigmented blush omg the packaging it's cute okay this is very pigmented so guys if you do not like a lot of you know pigmented uh, blush so apply just a little bit of it like I would do I think this much is also a lot I'll try to mix it from my hands first fingers look how pigmented it is i do not want my cheeks to look all you know popped up so i've just applied a very little bit of it and I'm not using a brush right now. I'll see if I require a brush or not. Because I think for blush, your fingers do a well job. Let me check if it's fine or not. I think it is. So I've kept it very neutral, not very dark and it just kind of has brought a little effect on my skin a kind of glow and yeah i'm okay with it fine so i think this looks pretty 10 on 10 i would recommend this now another favorite thing positive light luminizer in the shade mesmerize so this shade is basically a kind of pinkish shade and again oh my god look at the packaging it's so cute and let me just try it i would apply a bit of it just a little bit and now i would use my brush to mix it and i'm using my brush that i bought from sephora in the number 06 and it's a multitasker brush and this is how it looks it's very fluffy very soft very good and now let's test this look at that glow i am loving it. this is what 
aluminizer does. I am actually not a very pro in all these things, but I think you become perfect when you do it because nobody's born perfect, right? I think it's perfectly fine. Yes, and it looks so beautiful and so natural. I've just applied a dot, a pinch of it. I don't want a very darker makeup or something of that sort. And look at that glow. It looks way too pretty. I am satisfied with this. Would give you 10 on 10 for this also. If you wanna try it, go for it. You'll not be disappointed. So the next thing is that I'd be using a lip color. And the lip color that I'm going to use is from Sugar. This one is, I think, 24 Rachel Berry. This is the shade name. And I always apply it, uh, you know, it's a matte one. And I think that they it dries my skin really quick. And I'm not a very much fan of it because my lips crack too much as I've already told. So I usually like lipsticks which are very hydrating. So for this, if I'm applying this, I have already topped it with a lip balm and now I'll be applying this. This is the shade. It is actually a very beautiful shade. Yeah, it's actually a, you know, a matte lip color but so smart of me I've turned into a glossy one using a lip balm now we'll be applying kajal because i usually don't forget that and i always apply kajal most of the times because that's my favorite thing so let's put on some kajal now so the kajal that we're gonna use is from maybelline and I think kajal completes the look done with the kajal and i think we are done with the entire look so this is how it looks finally and the luminizer and the blush has given a glowy look on the face and i think we are done so that's all for today's video in case you have any questions or anything to ask about you can always comment and ask for the things or suggest what do you want me to make in the next video and that's it we'll meet in the next video with another get ready with me or something of that sort i'm not sure didn't think of that yet so i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye i love you guys